got them. All right, guys, good morning, everybody. Narcissal and Puddin coming at you from Stewart, Florida today. And we are doing some fishing here for the first time in quite a while. It's been quite a few weeks that we've been up here in the Stewart area. And we're throwing the net, catching some bait this morning. We got a couple, nothing too crazy in that throw, but we're gonna throw again and get some more. Just saw some pilchards and some good stuff using my Revo polarized lenses this morning so I can see in this dirty water. We also bought some bait from the live bait guys here in Stewart. And this video is brought to you by Fish Angler. We're gonna be using the Fish Angler app today to help us get some fish in this boat. But first you gotta start the day with fresh bait. Let's get another throw in for sure. Let's do that again. All right, first fish of the day. We've been, oh, 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 it's a nice fish. That was a nice like 24 inch snook. I don't know how he just popped that off, but casted right underneath this structure here. And soon, as soon as I started reeling on my bait, I just felt tension and I guess he was there and maybe he was just barely hooked, but swam right out and popped off right there. This happened the last time we fished this spot. I lost the first fish. So maybe that's a good sign, I don't know. But let me get a bait back in the water and get another one to show you guys. Nice job, Darcizzle. Yeah, you know, uh, we came up to Stewart today because we have to check in the fish angle wrap and you can check all the, the forecasts and where other people have fished and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, there's a new moon coming up, as you can see on this B-roll here. And we always do really great on a new moon because it makes a lot of water moving. It uh, usually you have like, just more, you know, the tide is just greater. There's more water moving, and so there's more current, so the fish are usually more active. And so it's a really great time to fish, and we have a minor coming up uh, right away too, so you can, and you can see that on the app as well. So, uh, not bad. Show us how you uh, rig that fish. So. Yeah, matching the size of the circle hook to the size of the bait, you can see we found little teeny finger mullets today mixed in with some bigger size mullet. Just taking the circle hook and running it up to the upper lip. And there's a little soft, pot, soft spot right here in the middle. You just poke it right through, and that way the mullet can still breathe and swim freely and present the bait correctly. And I'm gonna put a little split shot up here too so I can get him a little bit down in the water column. Awesome. Let's get another one. All right, do you want me? Nice, I'm gonna get a pilch it out, Dar Sizzle, so we have two baits out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, ha ha. Gone. Oh, he's back on it. Get him, Fizzle. He's around the ramp. He's gonna ramp me. Don't even have the net ready yet, of course. Woo wee! And I'm stuck. Just got him out. Oh, that was lucky. Now to keep him away <laughs> from that piling. Go ahead of me. Stand down. Nice fish, nice fish. Stay hooked, stay hooked. It? Oh, that jack wrapped me up in there. Mm. Dang, he acted like a snook. <laughs> For real. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> Gee, a lot, of, a lot of fight for that fish. Yeah, he took me like all around those docks with the ripping current there. I honestly thought it was a snook because it ate it right on the bottom, but came back for it, dropped it, came back for it, and then took me for a ride there. I really thought it was a snook until the last second and I saw him. But really overcast day as the day progresses here. It's just getting more and more overcast um, and less sunny. Been catching plenty of bait though. Through the net a few more times there the last couple hours and we got like four different kinds of baits now in the boat um, but the fish seem to be a little slow today again this is like the first time we've been here in quite a few weeks so anytime you start fishing somewhere again and it's been a while it's like a brand new place so you got to figure it out so uh, i did some research on the fish angler app and to see what people are catching around here and fishing one of the uh, popular docks and sure enough finally got a fish in the boat Took a while there, but we broke the skunk off. He's talking. 
Uh, but beautiful Jack Herbal for the inshore fishery, hard fighters. This one's really clean looking. He might be from the ocean, but anyhow, I'm going to take a quick picture, picture of him and then post this on the Fish Angler app so you guys can come do this too. Okay, Ron. Get him, Brian. Nice fish. You're wrapped up in that thing. Come this way. I don't think so. No, no, this way, this way, towards me. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, you see You see your line? Coming no. right this way. Yep, free him. Is he coming? Yeah. You're coming around that corner. You're on the last piling. There you go. You got him to the middle. He's right in the middle now, going to the other piling. Yeah. Okay, you got him? Yeah. All right, let me get the net. It's darn rod. The, the net makes the rod that he's using as a bass rod, it makes it feel like every fish is huge. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, what we got? Looks like it's another jack. Nice job. Jacks are chewing finally. I think mine's bigger. You gave me wet. Jesus. Ripping in the current too. Oh my They're lord. They're twins. No, mine's bigger. Twins. Way bigger. Cool. Good job. <laughs> All right, so two different baits now are catching fish in the last five minutes. It's a good thing. Yeah, like we always say, you know, we like to use uh, different baits, and I'm, I'm actually using a 30-pound leader, which is too light for docks, and this big old split shot because the current dripping, and then a hook. Obviously, I got this on with an FG knot today because it's a bait caster. It's just hard to reel because I got one of these, uh, this is the Revo Rocket, and you guys know it's like 10 to 1 or something crazy, but it's really not the right thing to be using, and that's on a custom Peter Bat rod. But uh, we'll put that in the fish angler, log the catch, and uh, we'll put all the information in for you so you can see it. All right, there you go. This is Brian's fish, this is my fish. Mine's bigger, right? They look like twins. But mine's bigger. They look like twins. <laughs> what do you guys think? Comment right. below, they literally Comment are below. twins. They're literally twins though. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta pick up both of those in there. We gotta pick both of them in there so we can post both of them on the thing. Is that your mullet? No. I got a fish. Hooked <laughs> yeah. up? Yeah. Nice, Woo! you got a snook. Nice. Good job. All right. Woo. All right, guys. We're working these walls, these sea walls in here. And you just saw some explosion that I threw this bait right in the hole. And, uh, nice. and he was hooked up in two seconds. Nice job. Put it on the fish. Another popular spot here in this area to fish. Yeah, and I'll post that, that. the fishing spot on the fishing wrap. Nice down low. Keep his head down. And then did in here. Good job. We got the that first, is a decent fish. We got the first fish in the boat. Probably 26, I guess. Nice Marsh. fish. Nice fish. That is a nice fish. Let me show you guys. Why don't, you hold, why don't you handle them, Sizzle? You handle them. No, I got the camera. You better have the fish, I'm better at the camera. That's a nice fish. Yeah, why don't you come measure them on the uh, new hair club cooler? Nice. Brian's fish. I'm gonna say 26. 26? I'm gonna say he's slot. Not a slot. <laughs> Slots are big. Big fish. He's 27. 26 and a half. Very close. Slots are big fish. Slot would be just up to here. Yeah, which so it's means, not that much bigger, but which yeah, means they, slot a lot would be to keep. But yeah, yeah he, he didn't look big enough. They're usually pretty much whiter and they got a decent sized fillet on them. But that is a nice snook for the first one of the day. Nice. I'm not complaining, guys. All right, so now I get to take a picture with Brian's fish and then we're going to post where we caught it on the app. <laughs> yep. I caught it right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the app, so they know where it was. No, I know, but I, you know, I'm just telling also right here. <laughs> All right, got a couple quick picks. I'm gonna release this girl, fight another day. Finally, we got a snook in the boat. That's about the size of the one I lost this morning. Are you ready? She is chilling. You're free. Nice. <laughs> nice release. All right, very cool. Brian broke the skunk on the snook. So the bite's only getting better. It blow ups everywhere. Who told us to come here? You did. My spot, my fish. 
Yeah, you know, we just we saw some mullet blowing up and uh, there was some explosions <laughs> up against this wall. It looked like jacks mostly. And I was just cast up right next to it. And I just threw it right in the hole and it was hooked up like <laughs> instantly. Instantly. So, instantly. It was Let's see if I timing. We had, missed a, we had missed a bunch before, but we saw blow ups and missed a, we yeah. saw a big tarpon blow up and we saw some jacks. They were like 20 pounds. Huge and, uh, so, monsters. Uh, so we just, you know, good luck came, luck came around. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna see if we can have another little mullet. So, so far, if anyone's counting, I caught a big jack, a monstrous jack, and a huge snook, and Darcy caught like a, a medium, like, a, you know, like a medium to small jack, right? Yes. Yeah. What you got? <laughs> I got a monster. Another snooky. He had a giant <laughs> pilch. <laughs> Notice that he had a little, this one had a little pilch. Good job. Putting Captain Two snook in a row. I'm catching nothing. <laughs> Don't throw them. I'm not gonna throw them. Hold them. I gotta hold them tight. Very pretty. Little Tiny. guy. <laughs> nice. Nice. Awesome. Film it. Bite's picking up. Bite it back in. Yes. Finish on. Get up. Yeah. He just grabbed it and took off. So she's coming up. I literally just put this in the rod holder because I wasn't getting any bites there while Brian's catching all the fish. But it looks like I got a jack. Cool. Catching fish, man. We've caught the most fish yet the last hour so far. So now we can look at the fish angler app and look at the conditions and see, you know, and mark that down for the future as to why the fish are biting so well right now. But I also have a feeling it's because of the tide. The tide is coming to a close. It's gonna be an outgoing, uh, incoming tide, I think in the next hour or two, and it's not ripping as hard with the current. And of course, you know, on the app, it shows you all that information, especially wherever you are in the United States or around the world, you know, with what the current and the uh, tide situation is doing. So, that shows us these fish are chewing. It's another nice one. They're all about the same size today. About five, six pounds. Nice fish. Brian's still with the two snook in the boat and the one that I lost this morning, but having a blast. And we're just getting back and familiar with Stuart Waters and you know coming back out here on a regular basis. It's time to come back here and start shrimping. We're having cold fronts start to push through. So just the seasons are changing and the bite's only gonna keep getting better. So there we go. Let this guy go. No. No. Crab traps. We're gonna do crab traps. We're never ever releasing track again until May. Yes. <laughs> They're all for the stone crab traps. Yeah, why don't you put those in the coolers so they don't get icky? Yeah. Alright. Is he on? <laughs> Should be on. Let him eat it. I think he's small. He's coming back this way. Tight. <laughs> oh, it's a snook. Nice job. Cool. Wait, whose bait is that? Mine? No, it's my Oh, Judas. Oh. Redfin. Filtered. See, the snooks go back into the into the canal. The jacks run the other way. Ooh, another big explosion. Fish are chewing, man. The last hour, we've caught all the fish of the day. We've been out here for many hours not catching anything. And then all of a sudden, it's just game on. A smaller snook, but a snook is a snook. No complaints. All right, little buddy. Looks like Brian's snook, second snook, his twin. Perfect, snorkel hook that right. That was way, way smaller than my first, yes, second one. way smaller. Snorkel hook right in the corner. Whoop. And he's good to go. Nice, so just sitting here in this area, look at his spine up there, it's messed up a little bit, but he seems to be doing okay. That's not from coming on the boat. Um, but yeah, so, so far in this area, just sitting here, we've caught a bunch of jacks three snook, one almost being a keeper fish. So no complaints. You just got to put a little bit of patience in there and a little bit of persistence and you'll get some fish guys, but awesome. Can't wait to share all this with you guys on the app. But when you see this, it'll already be on the app. Now that, that's, I mean, put them in the water, but tell the people that that's a male snook probably, right? Yeah. Um, most snook are hermaphrodites. So they are born male. And then um, when they reach sexual maturity, most of them, half of them, or whatever amount, becomes female. And the smaller snook, especially underslot snook or snook that are like 20 inches like this, he's, it's a male. 
Um, I don't know, I forget the age that they reach sexual maturity, but this one could become a female later in life. But again, just nice to see, you know, all sizes of snook shows that they're healthy. All right, you ready, little dude? If there's some sunlight you guys would be able to see. <laughs> there he goes. Cool. So yeah, straight slain in this one spot. Took all day, but we finally did it. Fishing the wrap, put us on some fish. <laughs> all right, let me get a line back out. We're running out of bait though. Let's get a line back out and try to get some more epic fish. Nice job though, Sizzle. Yeah, I, want, I also wanted to say that uh, the other day, someone had a question about uh, slot lengths. Now you can only keep these fish right now if they're between 28 and 32 inches. And people ask like, whoa, why the heck do they have a slot fish size? I think on the more. west coast is different. Okay, we're on the East Coast. Always check your regulations wherever you are, what county, whatever. You know, yeah. just because I say a regulation, I could be wrong and it could be totally different. All right, just check, you gotta check the regs where you live, okay? It's very simple, just Google the regs where you live. No big deal, okay? Yeah. Um, but They anyway. gotta be minimum 28, max 32. Right, but the point I was trying to get to is that that's because over 32, they become big females, as Darcy was just saying. When they get bigger, they become female, and then of course they become breeding females. So we don't wanna keep any of the large breeding females, so over 32. We don't keep. That's all. Yep. And there I would say That's the average reason. male doesn't get bigger than that. Average males are small. Yeah. I, it's like... 20s. Like all males. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next fish. Good. Hooked How up, are you? Sizzle. Hooked up. Awesome. <laughs> You're hooked up? What happened? I just lost a fish. You got a nice fish? Yeah. Get off the, get out your height. You're spooking out the fish. Man. Is it nice? Yeah, I made a big, he pulled me through that dock. I made a big blow up over there to the side. Oh, you gotta lock that drag. Dude. Dude. Big Dude. smoke, huh? Dude. <laughs> I, got, I was so frustrated at that. You guys, you couldn't see it off camera, but I fish with the most famous woman in the whole wide world. I, I'm sorry, we're just cooking off some grab, <laughs> grab claws right now. We're back yeah. in the house. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so we pull up on this dock. It's a very popular uh, bulkhead down here in my empty pocket. And first off, this freaking German shepherd comes running at me. You know, we have a fish on the dock and these freaking dogs come running out. Yeah. And barking his head off. I'm like, oh God, I just, so annoying, right? <laughs> Jeez. I don't like his bark. And then, and then the owner comes out, very nice, and he recognizes Darcy, of course. So Both he starts. Of us. Well, yeah, but I'm like in the middle of fishing, and so Darcy starts like saying, "Hello, how are you?" Blah blah blah. Good. Hooked how up, are you? Chisel. Hooked up. <laughs> You're hooked up? And I'm, I'm like, now at this point I'm hooked up under this dock yeah. and this dog is freaking going at me. He's not, you know, going to bite me because he's on land, but he's still rah, rah, rah. It's like an aggressive guard attack dog. Yeah. And and then the thing breaks off and I just lost. <laughs> yeah. I literally I like just heard him like scream and I heard the, the reel hit the water or whatever, the rod. And I was like, I turned around. I totally missed the whole thing, which is solid. So uh, I, I'm from New Slow York. Slow down, you gotta, you gotta separate them. All right, so I'm, sorry, I can't even do crabs right. <laughs> Hold on. I guess we so have like two different sized crab claws and he just started throwing them all no, it's in. it's fine, it's five minutes now. No, you gotta cook them all different, not eight in there. Anyways, sorry. Right. <laughs> he's, got, he's getting all flustered you make it, here. You gotta do different sizes, graduate yes. how long you cook them exactly. in the boiling water. Because he just slowed down the this water. This is for a video coming up, don't worry, you miss anything. Oh boy. <laughs> all right, so I had a little bit of temper tantrum from New York, but everything's all okay. We had a great day. Um, and of course, don't forget to download the free fish angler app. Yep, That's and check cool. out every location where we caught all the fish in the video. I've posted every single yes. uh, fish we caught and where, so you guys can go out in there and do this too. But, wait, babe, slow down. You can't put them all in there at once. Okay. That's why we do five and five. We separate it. Oh, I thought we put them all no. in at once. No, right, slow down. It. He keeps slowing down the water. Stop boiling. <laughs> ah! Anyhow. Told him to stop and he kept doing it. All right, anyways, but yeah, so I put them all on the angler on the app, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching love. I got made a song. I'm making a song. I'm gonna have a song next time. You making a song? I'm gonna have about a keep you, about on catching song. About your temper tantrum? No, about keeping on catching the end part.
good job.